The Communist Party of Vietnam is the founding and ruling Communist Party of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Although it nominally exists alongside the Vietnamese Fatherland Front, it maintains a unitary government and has centralized control over the state military and media, the supremacy of the Communist Party is guaranteed by Article 4 of the National Constitution. CPV was founded in 1930. Since 1954, it has been the ruling party of North Vietnam and then the Socialist Republic after seizing power. In South Vietnam in 1975, it controls the Vietnam People's Armed Forces. The CPV is organized on the basis of democratic centralism, a principle conceived by Russian Marxist revolutionary Vladimir Lenin. The highest institution of CPV is the party's National Congress which elects the Central Committee. In between party congresses, the Central Committee is the supreme organ on party affairs. After a party congress, the Central Committee elects the Politburo and Secretariat and it appoints the first secretary. The highest party office. In between sessions of the Central Committee, the Politburo is the supreme organ on party affairs. However, it can only implement decisions based upon the policies which have been approved in advance by either the Central Committee or the party's National Congress. As of 2017, the 12th Politburo comprises 19 members. The current party's leader is Nguyen Phu Trong, who holds the titles of General Secretary of the Central Committee, Secretary of the Central Military Commission, and the Presidency of Vietnam. The party is committed to communism and continues to participate in the international meeting of communist and workers' parties each year. It is also known for the advocacy of what it calls a socialist-oriented market economy, while another ideology of CPV, the Ho Chi Minh thought, introduced by Ho which combines Vietnamese culture. French revolutionary ideas, liberal ideas, Marxist-Leninist communist ideals and Ho Chi Minh's personal qualities. Before the end of communist rule in Eastern Europe, the party had the command economy until Doi Mua was introduced in 1986 and was aligned with the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact, COMECON states during the Cold War. The Vietnamese public and state media generally refers to the CPV simply as Dang or Dang Ta. Former parties, former parties, former parties The Communist Party traces its lineage back to 1925. When Ho Chi Minh established the Vietnamese Revolutionary Youth League, commonly referred to as Youth League, the Youth League sought to make use of patriotism in an effort to end the colonial occupation of the country by France. The group sought political and social objectives, national independence and the redistribution of land to working peasants. Youth League was designed to prepare the ground for a revolutionary armed struggle against the French occupation. In 1928 the headquarters of the Youth League in Canton was forced underground by Chinese nationalists led by the Kuomintang. The other faction of Youth League, based in the Cochin China region, called themselves the Communist League of Indochina, which was not originated from the Youth League. The Communist League of Indochina had its roots in another national liberation group which had existed in parallel with the Youth League, and saw itself as a rival to the latter. The Communist Party of Indochina and Communist Party of Annam from the Vietnamese Revolutionary Youth League, joined with individual members of the Communist League of Indochina to form a united communist organization called the Communist Party of Vietnam. Founded by Ho Chi Minh at a unification conference held in Hong Kong from the 3rd to the 7th of February 1930. At a later conference under request of the Third Comintern, the party changed its name to the Indochinese Communist Party, often abbreviated as ICP. During its first five years of existence, the ICP attained a membership of about 1,500 and had a large contingent of sympathizers. Despite the group's small size, it exerted an influence in a turbulent Vietnamese social climate. Poor harvests in 1929 and 1930 and an onerous burden of debt served to radicalize many peasants. In the industrial city of Win, May Day demonstrations were organized by ICP activists, which gained critical mass when the families of the semi-peasant workers joined the demonstrations to express their dissatisfaction with the economic circumstances they faced. As three May Day marchers grew into mass rallies, French colonial authorities moved in to quash what they perceived to be dangerous peasant revolts. Government forces fired upon the crowds, killing dozens and inflaming the population. In response, councils were organized in villages in an effort to govern themselves locally. Repression by the colonial authorities began in the fall of 1931. About 1300 people were eventually killed by the French and many more were imprisoned or deported as government authority was reasserted and the ICP, 